Shit, though. We got some of that shit, bro. No, look, this is what we doing, man. They put me on count. Oh, I'm about to stop this nigga. Bro, I get your ass out. So don't say cap seasons, cap streets. See what I'm saying? Them niggas was in the studio with you. Yeah, man. Don't holler cap season, man. Don't holler cap street. Niggas wasn't in the studio for me. You see what I'm saying? Them niggas was in the studio for you, nigga. Lil Tim and Quando. You see what I'm saying? That's who they was in the studio with six nine for. It wasn't in no studio with Top Boy. Man, keep talking about the song, man. Show me the song. Play the song, please. I bet money ain't no song. I bet it ain't no song. That nigga got his ass for nets. <laughs> Game. Man, talk about talking about. He don't hang with no rats. Nigga, your cousin a rat. Nigga, Montario told on true. That man true still book. Montario done got book. Came home and got book again. I mean, who still doing time by that shit he told on, boy? Cause you know I can I can have anything, any name in my mouth, cuz. You don't see me in that video. Them your people in that video. That's your family, cuz. That's your people, cuz. You don't see no 1600. You don't see no three nigga. You don't see no 1027 chains and that. Them yo people and they flashing money with that man. That's not me. <laughs> you tripping. He came down for me, but I wasn't in there with that nigga. You tripping. I ain't teach <laughs> Boy, them niggas going up off me, boy. Nigga thought I was going to give the song, guys. <laughs> Finance, uh, Finance, uh. Nigga set up the boxing match, nigga. Yeah, that's what we going to do. I can damage you a bitch, too. Get up and check it out now, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I keep telling y'all rappers are lies, but even street niggas are lies too. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, uh, Six Nine and Lil Tim were slated to make a song. Don't ask me why the two linked up. And to be honest, they probably had nothing good that they were up to. However, Six Nine went to Savannah multiple times trying to do a song with Lil Tim. Lil Tim agreed. Actually, there's a lot more to the story. Lil Tim even agreed that he possibly would have signed to Six Nine. I'm giving you all this detail. First, fresh-handed and also exclusive. Hey, how do I know? Shit, I mean, someone reached out on behalf of Lil Tim trying to speak to 6 9 I didn't know what about. I actually passed his number along. So they definitely talked. He went there by himself. Bunch of times was kicking it with them. He even showed up on video in a studio with Lil Tim and apparently had a million dollars in some duffel bag or a backpack or whatever the case is. And he basically was supposed to try to do a song with Lil' Tim. Now, from what I hear, he, uh, Lil' Tim has an ankle monitor on, so he can't really go nowhere. So they had to go to this Hole in the Wall studio. Apparently, they had some technical issues. They did not get to record the song. However, after Wack 100, who was on Clubhouse, mentioned the fact that 6 9 was in Savannah, Georgia, doing a song with Lil' Tim. And by the way, this, is, this got so far. I mean, Lil' Tim even got this stuff cleared with his judge. You get me? So pretty much... His judge even know he was doing a song, he was going to be shooting a music video, and everything was fine. But you know what messed it up? It's the same thing that messed up the song between 6 9 and even Annual. okay? Once the hood, the streets, found out, right? Keep in mind, Lil' Tim was all with it. Once the streets found out, they applied some pressure to Lil' Tim. His own partners and people in his own hood start calling him a snitch. And we all know Lil' Tim probably thinks that he's a realist alive because he defended his man, Quando Rondo. And after mountain pressure... He decided that, hey, he was going to back out of doing the song. Now, he went on social media. He denied even meeting up with 6 9 which was a lie because there was multiple videos of them being around each other or even 6 9 being around his homies and also them being in the studio together, them showing up to a studio together. And then pretty much his story changed. He said, yo, uh, 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 actually, we linked up and I finessed him. Okay, good story, cool story, but Makes no sense when you reached out to do some stuff with 6 9 Regardless, it's typical rapper stuff. I'm not surprised. Again, 6 9 I'm going to actually blame him. I'm going to blame 6 9 for this one, okay? Hey, even if this was not a, uh, even if this wasn't a, a, a initial finesse in whatever was going to happen, 6 9 told Wack. Wack mentioned this on Clubhouse. Everybody knew about it. And what I've learned with 6 9 at this point in his career, anybody who 
mentions a song before the song comes out, it always gets ruined because nobody likes 6 9 That's just the thing. Nobody will ever like him, okay? And because of that, the song got ruined. 6 9 looks like a fool because now little Tim is going to run with this other narrative. And the only thing 6 9 could say is that, damn, bro, you actually wanted to do the song with me. Again, very unfortunate, but he's going to run into this time and time again. It's happened to him four or four, five times already, and it's, this is just another time. Here's the thing, though. Lil' Tim is having the time of his life cashing in on all the fame and notoriety because of the story. Clearly, he had obviously notoriety because of the whole King Von thing, but it's been a while for Lil' Tim, okay? With this, now his name is back in the media, and hopefully he will probably, well, he's probably hoping to drop some more music of his own and probably try to take advantage of it. However, it is kind of whack that he's just not telling the truth. To tell the truth, who cares? Yo, you were, you're going to do a song with them. Listen, you're at a space in your career where you kind of need to do a song with somebody lit because truth be told, yo, he's fighting a case. He needs some money. That's what it is, okay? And again, tough situation. Um, Y'all see what it is. There's videos on both sides. They confirmed that they were together. Or they were meeting up with each other. Unfortunate as it is. Now it's on social media and it's been flipped the other way. Okay. Can the comments you guys like them? Subscribe. What do you guys think about this? Do you think 6ix9ine got finesse or do you think Lil Tim need to stop lying? Regardless, man, again, these situations are happening too often. All right. Can the comments you guys like them? Subscribe. Watch Academics. Woo!